The Urban Network Analysis Toolbox for ArcGIS 10 computes five different network centrality measures on spatial networks reach, gravity, betweenness, closeness, and straightness. The toolbox is built to compute these measures for particular instances on a spatial network, such as individual buildings on an urban street network. After you have installed the toolbox, open it from the ArcGIS Toolbox menu. The Input Points field asks for a point shape file that indicates the locations of your buildings on the street network. Then choose the street network and check the indices that you want to have computed. In this case, we only choose reach and betweenness. You can optionally choose a building identifier field so that the results will be matched to that field. And if you wish to weigh the analysis according to some properties of the input points, you can also choose those weights as the no date attributes. The toolbox allows you to either run the analysis from each building to all the other buildings in the network, in which case you should use a large search radius that exceeds the diameter of the network. Or you can also limit the analysis to a certain search radius. We use the default value of 600 meters in this example. The maximum neighbor separation value below defines the maximum distance that the adjacency matrix uses to search for neighboring buildings. On urban street networks, there are rarely buildings that are further than 600 meters from their closest neighbors. In regional networks or other large scale networks, however, buildings and other network instances can be much further from each other in which case the maximum neighbor separation distance should be increased according to the data. Finally, define the output location where the results will be saved. First by picking the folder and then giving a name to the results file. Press OK to start the computation. If you are running the given point shape file and the network file for the first time with this tool, then an adjacency matrix will be computed. Otherwise, the adjacency matrix will be automatically recognized from a previous run. Computing network accessibility indices on spatial networks can be extremely computation intensive and take a fair amount of time. Once the tool finishes, the results are added to the display. You can illustrate the results by going to the properties of the results layer and coloring them according to the computed values. In this case, we're going to color the results according to the reach values. To keep up with the latest developments, visit us at cityforum.mit.edu.